Yeah, we don't have a shark problem in this area, nowhere. We got fish going everywhere. Ooh. Think there's some fish here? These sharks are psycho. Oh, oh. Who wants to go swimming, everybody? What's up, everybody? I am Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. And I would like to start off by saying this video is sponsored by Omaze. More about that later. My absolute most heartfelt condolences, thoughts, prayers, and sympathy go out to Mandy and Zane Price. Pat Price unfortunately lost his battle with COVID a few days ago. And if you lived anywhere in South Florida, you probably knew or knew of Pat Price. This guy was a consummate helper, a giver, a loyal friend, an amazing husband, a great dad, a wonderful human being. And unfortunately, he got COVID and it took his life. He fought it intensely for well over a month. They did everything they could and he would not give up. And I believe wholeheartedly that he would not give up because of his love for his family. Whenever I was in the hospital with COVID in early August, I knew that Pat was in the hospital battling as well. And he had it worse than I did. And I prayed for him every single day. And it just breaks my heart to know that he lost and now he's in heaven and his family, they're without their dad and their husband. And so many of us are without our friend. So today, this video, this one's going out to Pat. Anytime I fish off of Jupiter, I want to have a lot of live bait. This is what I refer to as a chummy. Oh, those are sardines and everything, man. Holy smokes. That's looking down on us today, boys. See that? That's the best chum bait in the world. We may have to catch a snapper too. Yes, sir. -y. One and done, y'all. Throw the net, catch the bait, go fish. A lot of the island nations that I go to, they all believe that dolphin are like part of the spirit world and they will show up at the right time. Pat, we're thinking about you, brother. Those could be goggle eye or they could be sardines. Come on. Exactly what I'm looking for right there. Thank you. All right, while we keep catching bait, let's take a second and check out Omaze. So, Omaze gives away one of a kind prizes and experiences while donating money to chosen charities all across the world. Their sustainable approach to fundraising means that the nonprofits can spend less time trying to raise money and more time serving the needs of their communities. One winner is gonna win a Sprinter van with an $80,000 eco-friendly conversion upgrade. A 210 watt solar power system, max air roof fan, refrigerator, fresh water system, a 60 inch kitchen galley, LED interior lights, a full-size bed, plus the winner's choice of exterior upgrades. In my favorite part, money raised will go to help the Honold Foundation. The Honold Foundation envisions a world where all people have equal access to opportunity and live in balance with the environment. They believe in solar power as a proven environmentally sound solution to global energy and provides grants to organizations whose projects are innovative and have the potential to shift the narrative on what's possible for energy access. For your chance to win that amazing Sprinter van and to help the Honold Foundation, go to omaze.com forward slash dear me. We just ran out. I was like, let's just throw a couple baits out and see what happens. As soon as his bait hits the water, he gets a fish on. So in the same fashion as our good friend, Pat Price, Pat was a giver. He was a teacher. And uh, he taught so many people how to fish. So many. Ooh. What on earth? Oh, there's a shark after him. There's a shark after him. Look. 
Real, 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 real. Man. Flying fish. Look. Hold on, hold on. In the boat. <laughs> Woo! Man, that thing came in like a freight train. Push your drag forward. Push your drag forward. There. We got fish going everywhere. <laughs> Sebastian, what the heck, son? We've been fishing for about two minutes. We got two really nice bonitas in the boat. We got sharks chasing them. And you know what? Pat, we love you, brother, and we miss you. Look at them on the surface here. I cannot believe how many sharks there are around here. Now, let me show you why I wanted the small baits. We call them chummies because you chum up the big fish with them. Just like that, now watch. We'll just get them going out there. You wanna spread them out. You don't want them to be all on top of one another because they'll school up. You want them to spread out. Here, come over, over my shoulder here. Look, look, right behind us. Look, look, look at the fish on the surface. That's what chummies do. Now we'll get them right here, right where we want them. Look at this. Live action, sharks everywhere. Bonitas, next thing you know, we're gonna have a cobia swim up. Look at that. Think, think that's cool or what? Gotta have a lot of them. Look at that, look at that. Think there's some fish here? Think we got some fish? Now you know why Pat loves spending every day he had out on this water. It's just magnificent. So we have no bait in the water, no nothing. I've been rigging. These sharks are still just sitting here swimming around. One, two, three, four, right on the surface. If you look down, there's countless under. It's impossible to fish. So if you are an angler and you're tired of sharks eating all your fish, like these buzzards right here, check out Sportsman's Fighting for Marine Balance on Facebook. And listen, if you're a hater and you show up with a bunch of nonsense, you'll just be blocked, so it is what it is. We are about fishing. We have actual experience on this water. We know what's going on. We aren't learning by hearing from someone. We're learning by seeing. And you are about to see something really crazy. Watch what happens when I introduce bait to the water. They already expect it. Watch what happens. Now look, that would have normally spooked a wild shark that isn't used to eating. But he's like, no, they're crazy. These sharks are psycho. I mean, the bait's only been in the water 30 seconds. Oh, oh. Now, who wants to go swimming, everybody? Look at him, he'll be like, oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> no more soup for you! It's crazy. I love it. Well, why do you have all them teeth and no toothbrush? Huh? Well, he's just, he seems like he's angry about something. Come here, buddy. Are you kidding me? This is psycho. Just got picked up on the surface there. Oh, it's a sailfish! Yeah! Sebastian, that's from my friend Pat Price. Now you're gonna reel down and gently lift up. There you go, now reel down, keeping a bend in the rod. Now when you come up, come up gently, like you're gonna gently pick them up. There you go, now reel down. 
There you go. Anytime you're doing this, if you see people like lift them up real fast, all you're doing is pulling drag off the line and creating wear on your line. You reel down and you try to lift him gently at a nice pace. Reel down, and that's a technique that you learn over time. Same way Pat taught many, many people over the years. I try to help anytime I can to teach somebody else. That's what it's all about. No one was born knowing how to fish. Smoking you, dude. He's going, oh, there he goes. Okay, let's get up there and get to him. Just reel, 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 reel. He's coming up, sharks are after him. Keep reeling. Push the drag up just a little bit, just a quarter inch. Reel, 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 reel. I think sharks are after him. Oh, there he goes, he's on the left side of the boat. Nice fish, woo! Look at that! Hey! <laughs> beautiful fish, man, look at that. Crystal clear, blue water, just a beauty of a fish. Today, when we came out fishing, were you thinking you were gonna catch a sailfish? No. I wasn't prepared at all. There he is, right behind the boat. Oh, the shark is right there. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Right here. Beauty. Hold on. Hold on. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Gotta be careful with these boys. There he goes. There he goes. Beautiful release. Woo. My man. <laughs> that's, nice. That's what it's all about. That was man. awesome. That's that, what it's. It was awesome. Yeah? I love it. The other day nice. he was telling me he went out with his friends and caught his first Mai Mai. And the day I was thinking, man, if I could just get him a sailfish. As soon as I saw it cutting across the surface, I'm like, yeah, baby. Here we go. Awesome, man. Congrats. Thank you. Appreciate it. There you go. All I can tell y'all is it was a great day. Sebastian, first sailfish. You'll never forget that in your entire I'll life. Never forget that. The best experience I ever had. <laughs> it was awesome. When you come out on the water, you do and see things that you will never see on land. And every day is a new experience. You can come do the same thing a hundred days in a row and have a hundred new experiences. That is what kept Captain Pat Price coming back to the ocean. He will live with me forever. The stories that he told me, the lessons that he taught me, and to Zane and Mandy, again, my heart goes out to you. I am so very sorry. And to all of the thousands and thousands of friends that I'm sure will be watching this video, I'm sure you can vouch Pat Price was one of a kind. A lot of you have asked me, what is your stance on the vaccine? You know what? I don't know if Pat was vaccinated or not. I know that in, in August, I was in the hospital and I might as well address this now. I, was, uh, I wasn't against the vaccine, but I wasn't for it because you've got Democrats saying one thing, Republicans say another, doctors saying this. You've got people that have no business giving medical advice, giving medical advice. If everyone would just shut up and let the doctors give the advice, well, you know what? We would probably be all vaccinated right now and no one would have any hesitation. When I was in the triage at Jupiter Medical Center, they would come out and they would start asking you questions. And the first question they would ask you is, have you been vaccinated? And me sitting in there, I wasn't. And every person that I heard, they weren't either. And we all had pneumonia and we were all doing terrible. Whether you get the vaccine or not is a personal decision. But I will tell you my decision, if I had it to do over again, I would have been vaccinated before I got it. What you do is up to you. But I just wanted to let everyone know, if everyone would be quiet and let the medical people talk about the vaccine, I think all the questions and all the worry would go away. We don't need more people like Pat and all the others. There's so many, so many that have died. 
we got to get to the bottom of it and we've got to get past this thing because it's ruining lots and lots of lives. Wow, Pat was such an amazing friend and what a tough video to edit and put together. Thanks for watching and I would also like to thank Omaze for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out at omaze.com forward slash dear me.